what's going on, y'all? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And you're about to watch a little OTB LSU. We're going to give you all the latest, greatest between LSU football, baseball, women's basketball, softball, and everything in between. Bottom line, if you want to talk Tigers, keep it locked, subscribe, like it, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. If you're going to read one thing today, go read Wilson Alexander's piece in The Advocate about Jaden Daniels and how he improved so much this offseason uh, because it tells you everything that you need to know about JD5 and why he's made himself into the best quarterback in the entire country. And it's awesome because it, it, it starts with a lot of, um, you know, it starts with uh, he, he finishes last year and the numbers all right, you know, 17-3, whatever it was, uh, basically like 4,000 total yards and talking about how um, – Talking about how, you know, Jane was like, okay, like, do I want to go to the NFL? Do I want to come back? And and basically said, I mean, like, if if, if I, I don't, he, and basically arriving at the conclusion, that I don't want to come back and be the same guy that I just was. And this is where you credit the LSU coaching staff for doing a great job of re-recruiting. Apparently, uh, Joe Sloan and Brian Kelly put together a to-the-day six-month plan for Jaden Daniels that involved a ton of different stuff, right? It involved uh, individual film study, looking back at sacks taken last year, deep throws missed, what went wrong. It involved uh, new throwing drills, Jake, in which they required him to throw as hard as he could on every single throw, um, getting used to like his kind of body mechanics and what it feels like to go full effort on every throw. It included throwing weighted balls. It included when you're doing these practice sh throws, uh, you're shrinking the targets to logos, to shoulders, whatever, a tighter, you know, really focusing on practicing on those tighter windows. Uh, it included a lot of virtual reality work in the VR room. The bottom line is that it, it was a six month plan that just included a ton of daily work. And Jaden Daniels did that. And so that's why uh, on every other weekday throughout the entirety of the off season and this season, he wakes up at 5 a.m. and he goes in that film room alone. And that's why last week you would have found him watching all the third down clips from Alabama, Tennessee for an hour last Wednesday alone as he seeks to gain an advantage. And that's one of the reasons why LSU has been so incredible on third down this year. So nothing and, and that 5.30 a.m. thing has been something, again, that he's carried throughout the offseason and through the season. But nothing that Jaden Daniels has accomplished has happened by accident. It has happened because he's worked his ass off. And yeah. it's it, it, the area that probably – if you just want to put numbers on it, um, what was, and this is what I love, man. I love when we have a clear goal or, okay, you know, th th what, what do we all say? What does Jaden Daniels need to improve on? Be more explosive, throwing the ball downfield. Okay, that was the number one goal of the offseason. Yep. Well, last season, he averaged a career low seven and a half yards per attempt. And when they did go deep, he completed just 38% of his attempts that went over 20 yards in the air. Okay, those for 38%, uh, 500 yards, five touchdowns. This year, already, that was an entire season last year. This year, he's completed 67%, which is absurd for balls going yeah. that deep, 67% for 938 yards and 15 touchdowns to zero interceptions. And he's averaging 11 and a half yards per attempt, making him the literal best deep ball thrower in the entire country, statistically even better than Michael Penix Jr. So, like, here you have a guy, Jake, who was bad at this last year and through sheer hard work, determination, and dedication, took what he was bad at and became the best in the country at it. That. Yep deserves praise absolutely it does the things that you called for last year well he not only does those things now he does them better than anybody in the country just imagine that imagine being in a place like LSU you play in the SEC you're struggling with something in one year right and you put in the work to not only get better at it but to be elite at it you know how hard that is to do something that you're not great yeah. at to be able to go out there and master it in the offseason because of the work that you've done and that's exactly what he's done it's a quarterback right now that's graded out at 93% for the year. 93% for the year. Not his best game. Not against directional school U. He had a 93 grade. 93% in the totality of the year. And it shows. 
When he goes out there, there's a rhyme, there's a reason for everything that he does, right? Watch the body language in the play. I'm not talking about after the play. He's always actually had pretty calm body language yeah. after the play. That's one of his best leadership qualities, right? Not too high, not too low. He kind of stays even keel. But within the play, watch him go through the play. Watch his mechanics going through the play. Like everything has raised its level of play. And that's because of the work that he's put in. And also, I'm not saying that he wasn't tough a year ago, but his toughness has been on full display this year. Yes, give that man credit for that. That's I mean, true. going and watching the Missouri game, and so I do radio with Chris Budden on Thursdays. She was the sideline reporter for that game against Mizzou. So she saw some of those hits up close and personal. She asked me yesterday, how did he continue to play? I said, because that's just the way he is. She goes, I looked up, and he's got blood coming down from his elbow and it was so much blood that it was dripping off his fingers. Tight. Hell she yeah, said he dude. had blood. Yeah, so, yeah, I don't know yeah, how yeah. it happened. He had blood coming down his jaw at yes. one point. Yes. We know that he had a rib injury in that game because he got hit after he was already in the end zone. Pathetic. No call. Didn't care. Like, he just doesn't care. No. Like, in a good way. Like, no. in the best way possible. Like, just going to continue to just keep on coming and to keep on doing the things that you have to do. So, like, do not take this for granted. Do not take what you're seeing for granted. It is incredibly hard. Like, if I was struggling my junior year in pass protection, could I get better in pass protection? Yes. You know how hard it is to go from something (laughs) that you don't do well to being elite at? Right? That just doesn't happen. We don't see – like, I don't have another comp for you. Like, I don't have another comp where it was something that you probably did the worst, and now it's the best in the country. I mean, the only other comp is – and this is another guy who just did it by working his ass off is Joe Burrow's league. Yeah. Like that's the only other comp, even though maybe the difference there is, well, no, no, I'd say that's, I'd say that's pretty accurate. Like that, that's the only other comp I can give you. And that's another thing, man, about this, this LSU team is as a fan, uh, don't take it for granted what you're witnessing because it's pretty insane that not four years removed from the best offense we've ever seen. You have an offense that is actually legitimately comparable. And it's with an entire new cast of characters, both player, coaches, everything. We live in blessed offensive times. Uh, JD5, job's not done. Um, yeah, it's not. It's not. And again, and, 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 and that's the other thing, right? Like, Jaden Daniels is going to be bringing the confidence that comes with correct preparation tomorrow. Um, I fully expect this offense, like Jake said, to not be like, oh, no, we have to score. But be like, no, we're going yeah. to score when we get the ball, because that's who they've been all year long. That's who they're going to continue to be. And is it tough? Sure, whatever it is. But you know what? Hey, why else did you come here but to do tough things? Yeah, that's how you got to where you are, by doing tough things. And look, and I would say that that is the same mentality that they had in 2019. Think about, go back to the Texas game, right? The defense was struggling. Texas was scoring when they had the ball. Yeah. But – the offense continued to be like, we got you. We're good. Because no matter how many times they score, we're going to keep doing it. Go back to the Alabama game that year. God, man, they keep having success scoring. Joe Burrow, Clyde, those receivers, they don't care. We're going to score every single time. Now that we got a lead, we are going to go out there and score. Like, Did you ever think that offense was going to get stopped? No. Near the day. I was on the sideline for that game. I yeah. promise you. Like The confidence that they had, hearing some of the things that Joe and Clyde were telling their team, talking to the offensive line. Like they would, you know, they'd score a long touchdown. Two would hit a receiver down the field. Keep going back to each other. Hey, we're good. We're good. Hey, we got we get the ball too. They got to stop us, and they're not going to. Like that was that energy on that sideline. That's the energy you have to have. T's exactly right. Do not, do not just be like, oh my gosh, we got to score every single time we get the ball. That's not the attitude to have. No, no, we're going to. We get to. You know, we get to go dominate our opponent more, and it's such a good feeling when you feel that will break beneath you so wow jake what incredible takes i mean those guys they're just the best uh i think so and if you think so again hit the like button subscribe ring the bell so you get notifications we post every single day here on otb lsu